What is an implosion? Implosion is a process of destruction by collapsing inwards of the object itself. Where explosion expands, implosion contracts. In the case of the Titan submergible, the implosion was caused due to very high hydrostatic pressure of the surrounding water, which happened within a fraction of a millisecond, as shown in the animation. At the depth the Titanic rests, there is around 5,600 pounds per square inch of pressure. That's almost 400 times the pressure we experience on the surface. As the submersible is deep in the ocean, it experiences the force on its surface due to the water pressure. When this force becomes larger than the force hull can withstand, the vessel implodes violently. But why did this implosion happen to the Titan submersible? Existing technology is based on steel, titanium, and aluminium. These are what kept other submarines from being crushed. But the Titan has had an experimental design. It used mostly carbon fibers, which have the advantage of being lighter than titanium or steel. The properties of carbon fibers for deep sea applications are, however, not that well understood. It can crack and break suddenly. We corrected our recent video listening to all your comments and research. So stay tuned with this corrected version and don't miss a beat. Ocean Gate Titan this is not a submarine, but the Titan is a Cyclops-class manned submersible. But what's the difference between the two? The primary difference between a submersible and a submarine is that the submersible is launched from a mother vessel or home vessel. They are typically launched on a raft or platform, which is placed into the ocean, and ultimately descends via four electric thrusters, which helps it to reach speeds of around three knots. But a submarine can dive underwater without any external equipment and surface all through the process of buoyancy. These are the basic system that makes up the submersible. Number one, the mothership named the Polar Prince, which is actually an icebreaker. Number two, the ramp that transports the vessel up to a certain department. Number three, the ocean gate Titan itself. Let's look at its specification. The vessel has a length of 22 feet, 6.7 meters, which is pretty small considering it can go to great depths, while it has a breadth of around 9.2 feet or 2.8 meters. And it has a height of 8.3 feet or 2.5 meters. Comparing this to an average human will help us visualize how small it is. Even better, let's compare this to a small SUV to help us understand its dimension better. Interestingly, it can carry around five people, a pilot, and four passengers, who have to sit on the floor and have limited room to move around. Imagine sitting like this for eight hours. If someone asks the question, what if nature calls? Yes, there's a toilet on the submersible, but it is only separated from the rest of the capsule by a privacy curtain located at the front of the submarine. The interior of the vessel is pretty simple. You will have a joystick, which is actually a video game controller, and two monitors to help steer the vessel, one is for the sonar, and the other one placed on the side is for steering the submersible. This is probably one of the basic deep diving submarine you will ever see. Let's move outside the submersible to understand the engineering behind it. These are the four electric thrusters that help steer the vessel. Two inner space thrusters are placed in a horizontal position as shown here, and two more are located on both sides of the vessel are placed in a vertical position. At the back is the electronics equipment and most probably contains oxygen and navigation system. It is an unmanned part of the vessel that also has the ability to even recycle some of the carbon dioxide and pump back the regenerated 50% oxygen into the cabin. This is one of the main reasons the submersible vessel has a 96-hour oxygen is claimed by the company. Interestingly, this is the entrance made up of titanium and opens up just like this. This is the camera of the vessel which can be viewed from one of the two monitors. At the front are four lights required for deep-sea diving. With all this equipment, the submersible can go up to depths of 4,000 meters or 13,000 feet at a speed of three or four knots. Now that we have established the basic functions, let's take a look at how this works. Step number one. Mothership, which is the Polar Prince, anchors at a particular spot where the Titanic shipwreck is located. Step number two. The ramp slowly disembarks from the mother ship along with the Titan submersible. Step number three. It will slowly descend to a certain depth. Step number four. The small Titan submersible will disengage from the assigned platform. 
Step number five. Titan will slowly descend at a low speed of three or four knots. Step number six. The pilot will use the joysticks to pilot the vessel. This is how it works. Moving the joystick controller just like this will propel the vessel forward. Tilting the controller back will reverse the vessel with the help of the electric thrusters. If the pilot wants to turn left or right, he will just have to twist the controller and the effects will be as shown in the animations. On the left-hand side of the joystick is the down and up controller. Tilting the controls forward results in the downward descent of the vessel, and pushing the controllers down results in the upward movement of the vessel. The submersible did not even reach the wreckage of the Titanic, but suffered an implosion because of the weak carbon fiber hull. And the debris is located just 1,600 feet from the Titanic and consisted of five parts as shown here in the animations. Till then, check out the many engineering animations as we make original videos from scratch in 4K 3D animation, with just two people working on this channel. So please like and subscribe for more videos to come.